Uh, here we go, Triple S Drive Mall doing Southern Style. I got my buddy Rick right here from Certainty, and uh, his company distributes this corn bead that we're going to use. It's called No Cook. It's a laminate, um, it's very durable, it won't bend, it's got a lifetime guarantee, it won't crack. This is the hopper that we use. We run this through the hopper, it puts the mud on here, and then we roll and then wipe, which we're going to demonstrate. So here we go. Go. Butt up your corners tight here. I've already got these cut nice and square. You don't go past this edge because you want these corners to meet perfect. When I pull on the outside of here, I'll generally pull down a little bit because there's a rubber in here. To make sure I get mud all the way down the, the length of the bead. Sometimes you get a little dry spot, just it in there. This can also be done with regular mud. You don't have to have a hopper. So if you've got one small position or one small thing you're trying to do, you can just mud it up and then put the bead on and then you can actually kind of wipe it like this with your hands and then wipe it. And then it's light tape and when it, when it dries, it bonds to that drywall and it ain't coming off. Keep going, Rick. Get this window here. So start on the top with a roller. You just roll nice and tight. Start in the middle, go up. Make sure these corners are touching. You don't have any space between it. Same thing here. Now those are ready to wipe. Same thing, start in the middle. Middle going up, make sure your corners are touching nice and tight, and you can maneuver that corner, make sure it's flush with your finger. And also with the roller, you can lean one way or the other, it'll turn a little bit. Alright, there it is. Now we wipe it. So not a whole lot to it. I'm just gonna kind of feather edge the top of my six and just knock that mud down on the edge because it's already rolled, it's already tight. So all you're doing is getting the excess mud off, essentially. I always like to spot screws if they're close. Give them a head start, flip the inside. Just want to make sure it's free of trash on the corner so when you try to float it, it won't uh, be trashy for you. Same thing. Top here. zoom in right here a little bit. Right here I got a little bit of a blister. All that means is either something's behind it or there's not enough mud there. So you can see it when it blisters. Just put you some mud behind it like that. And then wipe it. So now we don't have a blister. Alright, we'll do some more. Uh, another video here shortly. Uh, but that's the gist of it. So no coat corn bead. In my opinion, best corner bead you can ever buy. It's got a lifetime guarantee, it never cracked. There's no other corner bead that does that. So that's that's my thing. There's no metal in it, it can't rust. And it's got a lifetime guarantee, it, it won't crack. I mean, I'm all in. All right, we're back. We got these windows stuck with the no coat corner bead and I'm just gonna give y'all a quick demonstration on how to float. I use pan and knife, not hawks and trials. This is Southern style. Eight inch knife, six inch knife. I use a six and what I call a half of six. So I'll kind of turn my mud in and get in that corner. 
just a half a six. I'm going to fill in the inside of all of the windows. All the way down. All the way around. Back on this side. So try to keep as much mud as you can off the actual window. So now I'm gonna take an eight on the outside. And we'll put about, just about seven inches on it, which will help us on the skim, because I skim with an eight. The other advantage of this corner bead is, unlike metal corner bead, it doesn't take a whole lot of mud to float. So this is a lot flatter. You'll see daylight big time on metal corner bead is, you know, almost a three inch of inch of a gap that you have to fill with mud. With this corner bead, it takes a lot less mud to do that. So now we've got mud all the way around. I feel like I've shown in a couple of videos in feather edge. So I'm just going to take the top of that knife right there and lay that edge down. We call it feather edge all the way around. So we're just gonna wipe up my feather edge a little bit so I don't touch that corner and just kind of glide over it. And just fill that in. Same here. Nice and steady. As long as you got your mud even, it's not too hard to do. All the way down. So now I'm gonna clean this edge before I wipe my inside. And I'm gonna start on the bottom of my knife and I'm gonna slide in. So if you do that, it keeps it keeps from messing up this side, which you have nice and pretty. But if you square that corner up before you wipe it, you won't have as much excess on the inside. So the same thing, we'll start here and then slide that knife in all the way around. So I'm gonna start with a little bit. Every time you wipe, I'll start with a little bit of mud. Get that corner nice and full. Same thing, a little bit of mud on the way back. Now we've got it nice and full. Mud's a little bit looser. The thicker your mud on a float coat, for the corner bead, the better. Because it'll shrink less. And this is hot mud that we're using. It's got a quick set, 90 minutes. So one hour, this stuff will be hard. And there it is. Do one more right here. Same thing, start with that six. Fill that in. So another thing too with this corn bead, as you can see, I'm still on one pan. I started with one pan of mud to do both of these windows. And I'm probably gonna have enough mud in one pan. If you do this with metal corner bead, you'll be lucky to get one window with one pan of mud just because it takes so much more mud. feather edge didn't quite make it so I'm just gonna wipe this give myself a little bit of mud in my pan keep it down that other side same thing roll that edge of the blade in so you can get that nice and fair I still need a little more so you're gonna put on an excess of mud to start with, and as you wipe it, you collect more mud in your pan. That's kind of what I'm doing. Just wiping myself all the way around so I can get a little more mud in my pan to finish this other side. Right, so, so as you can see, 
video was an empty pan. I just collected that. It's going to be enough. Piece of trash. I want to get that one ready to find some feather edge. Just get that little bit of trash on it. Now this is just a float coat, so we still gotta put another coat on it. But I'll shoot another video and show you on how to skim it. It's the same premise, you just go a little bit wider, make sure you cover your edges. There it is, no coat corn beads. In my opinion, the best corn bead there is. It's easy to deal with. You don't have comebacks on cracks or anything like that. And it's got a real nice straight corner. Uh, more so than a metal corn bead. Metal corn bead has a little bit of a round edge to it. And People know all about it, chipping, if you're walking by and you chip it and you, you see the metal and you think it's cracked, but it's just the, the paint um, separating from the corner bead. You won't have that problem with this. Till next time, Southern Style, Houston, Texas, baby.